I thought I'd be able to perfect block that. See, little does this dude know, him losing that evasive is actually the worst thing that could have. Into exploitation, and yeah, 911 damage, and he could not evasive that. Look, boy, I'm a legend, but spell on my presence. Don't touch me, I'm ready. My drip like Hokage. See, you and I, we both had nothing in common. I move like Kakashi, I do shit bro. Let's go, let's go. Just you know, be from the unknown. Said I gotta show that I'm with it. I got cut so not tell fast. I kill him, we all cut thoughts. Had to put the work in, show him what the work is. Came up from the bottom, now I'm up though. Ayy, suck up at the trenches. Now I'm on my lit shit. Give me serious one punch, hold on. Okay, so today we've got another Peroxide video. Now today I'm finally going to be going over the last full bring ability, which is the common ability Midas. Now I've heard a few people actually saying that Midas is pretty good for a common, and so I'm definitely actually excited to get into it. But one thing I do want to point out for this video is that as you guys can see, if well, you know, you looked at my twin soul bar, yep, my twin soul is finally maxed. I ended up actually maxing it today. It took a few hours, not even going to cap. But yeah, I ended up doing it, and I actually did it with Midas. I'd say Midas is definitely, just in my opinion, the best in terms of doing the Twin Soul, since you can basically just use its moves to do long range, just far combos. So yeah, I ended up doing it with Midas. And so because of that, I already like Midas, since yeah, with all the other freaking Twin Souls or full bring abilities, I mean, I could not beat them, bro. But yeah, just wanted to point that out for this video. My Twin Soul is actually going to be max. But besides that, I just want to say Happy New years since as of me recording this it is actually the first of 2024 so yeah just happy new years to you guys i hope 2023 was well for y'all and if not then i just hope 2024 is even better or is better i should say but yeah i just wanted to get that out of the way and so with all that being said let's actually get onto the showcase all right so the first move we've got on midas is the one so if i click one couldn't really see it since he got one punched, but basically you punch the person, they'll turn into gold, and then they'll actually get knocked back and take another set of damage. And that move actually does a crap ton of damage, not to mention it does guard break. Something else I also want to talk about real quick is I'm pretty sure in terms of where Midas is from, I personally think it is actually Tessero from the One Piece movie. If you haven't watched the movie, then you aren't going to know it. I personally haven't watched the movie myself, I just know of the character. But yeah, he's got the basically gold gold fruit, I guess is what you want to call it, and see all his stuff has to do with gold powers and this stuff you know basically Midas being of gold really just makes me think that's where they got the inspiration from yeah besides that we can move on to the next move which is the two so if I click two as you can see, basically you do a barrage of coins that does a crap ton of damage. And then after that barrage, you'll actually go back and forth and that'll actually let you combo extend because they'll be stunned. So yeah, just a pretty good move overall. But then the final move we've got on the list is three, which is 14 karat gleam. So if I click three, as you can see, basically what it does is you toss a coin up in the air and that'll actually blind the person when it's in the air. And then if you manage to catch the coin after you toss it in the air, you will get this buff where, as you can see, my hands are gold. Now what this buff does is it makes it so anytime you hit something, for one, <laughs> gold coins come out of them. But besides that, the most important part is the fact that all of your actual cooldowns get lowered while this is up. So if you look at my one really closely here, while I'm punching this dude, you can see that the cooldown on it just goes down way faster than a normal should see all in all just a good move set the one is a pretty good move it stuns and can set up for other moves two is just a free combo extender and then three is actually a support move that i actually think works pretty well with the kit especially with the twin soul which you guys are going to see here yeah now that we've gone over all that we can go on to the next thing which is the twin soul so if i click g a penny saved is a penny earned. <laughs> I absolutely love the Midas quotes, man. It's also got one where he says, like, from rags to riches. It's absolutely hilarious. But yeah, this is the twin soul. You basically get, like, I'd call it Chad arms, honestly. In terms of the passives, you've got a M2, which is called Pristine Snipe. So if I click M2... As you can see, you basically just flick a coin at people and it does spirit damage and guard breaks. And it's basically just a ranged M2 attack. Pretty good. The next move we've got is Midas Touch or Passive, I should say. And what this does is basically anytime you hit somebody with a Midas move. So for instance, your one or your two, or whenever you actually have your little passive buff where your hands are gold, the enemies will drop gold. So as you guys can see, that little money symbol next to me. Anytime I hit somebody with a move or while this buff is on, I'll get more and more money. And that's pretty much how that passive works. Now, 
that passive is important because that adds on to the next passive which is gold barrier so while you have gold you get 30 percent damage reduction now every time he hits me as you can see i got the damage reduction but it does take away the gold so i'm pretty sure the way the gold works is it takes away the gold just based off of how much damage you were going to take so as you guys know the metal stomp does like almost 200 damage and so because of that it did take up 30 gold to actually reduce but if you're not getting hit with like 200 damage attacks then yeah you'll actually be able to use the gold very effectively and you'll basically always have 30 percent damage reduction besides that we've got 24 carat per, re, re, what even what retaliation i don't know why i bricked that so hard but basically the way this works is if you actually perfect dodge something as you can see it'll turn the opponent gold and then it'll actually give you 10 gold and then you stun the opponent but then the last move we've got is a blood money and what that is is when you have 50 gold you can pretty much click g which is the you know awakening button and you'll actually flip a coin and then that coin will just heal you for 20 percent of your hp all right well since my timer is about to run out i'm actually just gonna move on to the all so the all is jackpot judgment if i click my all you flick a coin into the air it then stuns them a giant fist lands on them and then pretty much what ends up happening is you can pretty much just call this the quincy rain see it rains gold coins and as you guys can see from the damage counter it does a crap ton of damage but yeah that's basically everything that midas has to offer all in all i think it's actually really freaking good especially for being a common i'm definitely going to show you guys the blood money passive when i'm in a game since i think it'll be a lot easier to do compared to here but yeah that is also a really good passive and just the all having that little stun in the beginning is also really good because it can let you set up into just long um wind up moves for instance for this video i'm going to be using this move which is basically my clan move and that move as you guys see takes a while to come out so with the ultimate or just using the one as well having those two stuns is really going to help so yeah really excited to get into it and so with all that being said let's get on to the rank matches okay so we got the first match here and i'm not gonna lie this is actually my first game in terms of like actually practicing so yeah i've not warmed up at all however i don't really think it matters since just recently they decided to uh reset the battle tower so yeah my rank is indeed zero right now but yeah because of that i don't really think it matters as much since i feel like i should be able to hold my own against these guys but yeah we're against a and Oronka. i'm gonna go for the three here thank you very much get the upper cup all right so there goes his evasive little does he know that's actually oh i didn't get to okay i thought i'd be able to perfect block that see little does this dude know him losing that evasive is actually the worst thing that have into exploitation and yeah 911 damage and he could not evasive that what you guys got to understand is when you use the one on midas um you can't actually evade until the whole move is complete and so because of that like i said using any like long distance um attack that like has a lot of wind up is actually really good for Midas is or yeah just really good on Midas I should say into the three here good block by him oh oh I thought he was gonna keep blocking bro but into the gust oh that gust move actually does a lot of damage by the way hence why I'm using it into the four get the blind oh we didn't get the blind and I didn't even catch it bro block for me no he doesn't block face him off of this he bounces into the wall yes yeah, I'm talking Midas can do a lot of damage bro I do have my two off cooldown so if I can land that that'd be good I also have my three so right now I'm either looking for bop bop into the three here oh damn we ended up missing yeah big by this dude I do have my evasive though into the two yeah that's big damage bop bop into the one. Oh, he pp'd me I bricked it bro all right I'm gonna just go ahead and catch my coin since I can do that he ended up popping his segunda so that's good to know bop 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 up into the two. Oh, I for the damn uh gust move yep thank you very much i knew you were gonna do that you can land an uppercut off of this bop 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 into the one we ended up getting behind the dude bop our three is almost off cooldown as well yeah pretty obvious every chaos user does the same thing oh no i want this dude to um into the three. Oh my you actually predicted that <laughs> but he doesn't know to block behind him but wait for it to run out into the two and you can actually stack that damage that's what makes it so good i'm gonna awaken this that way I could just minimize the amount of damage I take. So not bad. Should I just pop my all here? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna pop my all here. Why not? Yeah. Pop the all. He gets stunned off of this. Wait, what? The stun. Okay, well, you're gonna die to the rain though, aren't you? Why are you still hitting me, buddy? Bro, look at your health. He's just dead. Yeah, I didn't even have to kill him. The rain killed him. <laughs> I think he ended up dodging the like initial stun of the move but then afterwards he was kind of just screwed into the three since it's got so much range oh my god we do so much damage into the one here the two to stack that damage he's already lost half his health counter into the five. Oh my god this dude got chunked I've also got gold on me if I can get up to 50 gold I'll be able to heal so definitely gonna be looking for that but we're at 48 I just need a bit more gold man oh yeah there we go 
All right, so I'll be able to showcase the... I'm not even going to kill this dude. So as you guys can see, if I awaken... Yeah, almost a 200 HP heal right there. Really good. And one... Oh, are you actually attacked me there? That would have guard broken him and, like, messed this dude up, bro. We've got mad damage reduction right now, so I don't even really mind. Shock this dude actually decided to go for that. Bop, bop. Into the two. Nice. No, he's going to put it on himself. Oh, my God. I'm a dummy, bro. Literally, everybody does that, and I somehow still fell for it. What the... How'd you TP here, dog? Into the three. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Wow, I'm, I'm about to die, actually. I should have flashed that. I'm a dummy. Okay. That sucks. If I didn't get hit by that damn chaos ball, that would have definitely been, like, perfectly safe, bro. See if we can get this dude into the three here. Block behind you. He did not block behind him. Bob into the one. Exploitation. He ended up perfect dodging it. You're not going to hit me with that. Thank you. Oh, I hate that that move still sends you up, even if you miss, by the way. I think that is so dumb. Bob into the 14 carat this way we can get our cooldowns back bop 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 yep so this will help us get our cooldowns back i've almost got my twin soul as well oh i wanted to get a raw uppercut there where the hell were you aiming buddy see if i can hit him oh we actually hit him with that too oh he's dead i'm pretty sure because now we stack that 700 damage combo by the way this dude actually has a crap ton of health though but he should just be dead you're still alive oh my god okay i'm gonna just go for a heavy but he perfect dodged me die into the three and yep there you go buddy man midas is actually insane ggs all right so we got the next match here i honestly really do like midas i would kind of compare it to something like glacier where i think it is you know obviously it is a spirit um ability but you can kind of like go really combo stupid with it and so because of that I think that actually makes it pretty, like, favorable to anybody who's normally just a combo person. Come back here, buddy. Bop into exploitation. Hit that 919 damage combo, man. Oh, my God. Raw uppercut here? Thank you very much. But what? Oh, I ended up... Okay. I thought I'd, like, brick that. Oh, we're against a clock user. I've literally, quite literally, never fought a clock user. So, bop into the four. Chase him down. Uppercut. What? I missed! Oh, my God. Yeah, I've never fought a clock user, so this is quite interesting. But Stu does have really high damage M1. One, so something we're gonna have to worry about chase him off of this bop bop into the three thank you very much get the uppercut he's probably gonna have to evasive here definitely right yeah there we go that actually still hit me what the hell okay dodge that bop 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 i'm just gonna awaken here why not if i can land my ult this dude just dies into the ult here that should land from that distance right get the stun bro it really didn't hit that's crazy Bop into the two since you decided to stay right in front of me for some odd reason. Counter into exploitation here. That guard breaks, I'm pretty sure. Yep, so can't do that. And he's dead. We're low on health. If I can get um 50 gold to get my blood money, that would definitely save me because that will heal me up by a ch Oh my god, that move is so dumb, bro. Okay, I mean, we're perfectly fine. That guard breaks, but I use my evasive on it. What? Oh my, okay. This dude literally just launched every move out. Damn, that sucks. If I would have been able to build up my blood money there, that would have been absolutely huge for me. Nice job countering right there. See if I can launch my three raw. Oh, I was barely out of range, man. Into the one. Thank you. Stack it with the two. Free damage. He'll actually go against the wall there. Biggest thing I got to worry about is this dude just launching out his moves raw. Like, he's not even actually trying to combo into them. He's just randomly using them for some reason. Counter. Go up against the wall. Into the four here. This will start giving me my cooldowns back. Bop into the two. I wish the two wasn't bugged. Before, you used to be able to do five M1s with it, and it would still come out, and that's, you know, how it should be. However, as of recent, it has not been doing that, and it's actually bugged to where it only works off of four, which I think is definitely dumb. Stack that with the two. Combo them. Bop. Okay, he activates his twin soul. I don't really actually know how much damage this thing can do at max twin soul, which I assume this dude has. Launch the three randomly. What, what even happened? Oh, he evasive, bro. Into the two. You got to remember, bro, I am still a spirit build. I can just spam moves and it will work. Bop into the one. Exploitation here. Charge 830 damage. This thing is absolutely crazy, man. Baited out the counter, which is pretty big. Into the four. Oh, if I had my chase out, I was going to try and um, uppercut this dude, but didn't end up working. Evasive of that. Into the three. Yep, he ran right into me, my boy. Thanks to our great ability, my cooldowns are actually back. So what what happened? Oh, okay, I can block that. But but I'm just gonna use mine. Yeah, why not? All right, all I gotta really do is land the alt, and this dude basically just dies. So I'm gonna wait for him to use all his flash steps. Yep, there, you're already. It's over. Oh, wadi da, my guy. What? Oh, what? oh, all right. Thank you very much. He's now getting rained on by the coins, which does a lot of damage. I will say I'm kind of shocked. I've actually been missing basically most of the stuns for some odd reason. I don't even really know why. Oh, that actually hit me. Wow. Okay. What? Oh, that's a guard break. Oh, God. 
We might actually, like, we could unironic. No! I'm pretty sure I got out of that. I don't think he hit me. But if he did, well, crap. I don't know if it'll kill me, though. I think I'll be good. I hope. Let's see. Did he hit me? I don't know how much time this dude has to work with, bro. Did he hit me? Oh, my God. He did hit me. I'm about to take so much damage, bro. Um, I don't think it'll kill me. But, yeah, I am going to take a lot of damage. I had to get away from that. No, really? Exploitation here since he doesn't have a dodge anymore. What? Oh, he perfect blocked me. No way, bro. Bop into the one. Oh, my. He perfect blocked me again. Bro, you actually can't make that up. Nah, I know that was accidental. Oh, my God. All right, we got the next match here. A bit unfortunate that we ended up losing that last one. That dude definitely got two lucky perfect blocks. I don't care what anybody says. And so, yeah, those basically ended up selling the game because I did not know the clock perfect block actually stuns you. But we're against a Dimension Fullbringer here, so this should be pretty interesting. What? That's crazy. But perfect block that. End up behind him into the one here. Chase him into an uppercut. He uses evasive. I mean, all right, if you want to. Into the three. Thank you very much. We should be able to uppercut. Yep. Yeah, bop, 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 bop. Into that. Half his health already gone. Honestly, the main thing I've been struggling with is just using the actual ultimate. I feel like it's actually like a lot harder than I thought it was, bro. I thought it was just going to be like the freest stun in the world, but no, it does not work like that. I'm going to stay up here. Yep. Take that 615 damage. Y'all notice. Oh my, this move is so dumb, by the way. Like y'all got to tell me what the counterplay is. Cause I actually have no idea what you're supposed to do against that. Chase him. Bob, Bob into the one. Chase him again into the three. Oh damn, bro. Yeah. I thought that the alt would just be I've actually been, funnily enough, I should be hitting most of these counters. I've kind of just been getting lucky, though, not even going to lie. But, but, and this dude logged. Okay, bro. All right, so depending on how long this is, this might be the last match. Like I said in the last one, though, um, I don't really know, um, you know, in terms of what the ultimate stun range is. I thought the ult was literally just going to be a free stun that you could do whatever you want with. But, bro, I literally have yet to land the stun, like, once. We're against a forest Quincy here, so this should be pretty interesting. But, yeah, like I said, I literally have yet to actually land the stun. Bro, I ran into him. And so it's definitely been the biggest issue bob he's probably gonna block yeah thank you for the guard break into that oh my i actually did the wrong move i was supposed to do the other one man yeah get out of there you're not hitting me with that buddy he goes for his arrow rain move yeah that's basically what my ult is definitely not going in that if this dude decides to go after me then i'm gonna just pop my coin see if i can get the blind we ended up blinding him he didn't even know where he was hitting as you guys can see bop bop into the two here Go for another uppercut. Oh, damn. I was on cooldown. Bop, bop, bop. Into the one. Exploration or exploitation, I have to say. He ended up PBing you. Nice on this guy. My boy, if you're not hitting those forest attacks, man, you are definitely not going to do well with forest. This dude has literally not hit me with a single one. Into the three here. We can uppercut that. Bop, bop. Into the two. Big damage. This dude's actually running Blue Vein, too, which is not something you normally see. He's probably going to block here, right? No, you m one Okay. That's not what I expected. I can block that whole thing, and then there's n -line. No, n -line? What? Catch the coin here. That's a blind. I do have my three. I'm going to just try and land it. What? Oh, he canceled it. Damn it. That doesn't even do much damage. What the hell? Is this dude like a strength build running spirit or something? I would have expected that to do way more damage, but it really doesn't do much. Yeah, and I think he's got 40 damage M1s. I'm pretty sure, unironically... Wow, I turned off my full bring by accident. Okay, thank goodness he didn't go after me. I'm pretty sure, unironically, this dude is playing like strength freaking forest, bro. Yeah, he definitely is. I mean, we should be able to deal with it pretty easily. The only thing I just got to get um better at is dealing with these damn great sword m1s bro because great sword and gun m1s have just always been my problem dodge that i don't really want to pop my twin soul until i'm actually like low on health does that guard break oh crap no what's happening oh did he all oh, okay i'm just gonna twin soul here i don't want to get caught by that no thank you and then i can pop my ult. he might actually get stunned by that yeah he did boom into exploitation i mean if you're just gonna take the coins i guess i'll take it i'm not upset at all bop 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 hit him with that oh he went that way what the hell i thought he was gonna go this way. into three yep he went into me Thank you very much. He evasives out. I'm going to just proc the coin here. Might be able to get the blind off. Oh, damn. He canceled my coin. That sucks. Bro, this dude is a strength user, but he's playing like so far ranged. Man. Oh, my God, bro. I just want to fight, bro. Please. It's also been pretty hard to gather the money because I swear I keep like losing it a lot faster than I'm gaining it. I'm not going to lie. Into the three. Damn, he doesn't even go for a parry right there. People do really not know. Uppercut. Oh, my, what? oh he evasive. Okay. How does that hit me, dog? What? Suit is just playing really defensive. I can't. I'm just going to go for a raw stamina break and it works. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. You block too much. So exploitation here. What? What even killed this dude? Oh, the explosion from the fist. 
<laughs> this dude blocks so much that I just need to be abusing my M2, and he definitely just can't win. Um, I think I'm going to go for an alt. I think that would work pretty well here. Wait for him to run out of his uh, dashes into the three. Thank you. I'm going to ult him here and see if that works. Yep, there's with the stun. Bop, bop, bop. And this is exactly the situation that you want to be in. You guys can see this dude just took 875 damage. So the yeah, dude literally has no HP. If I can get like three gold worth of money too, I just got to hit him with like one attack. Problem is all my moves are on cooldown. Into the two, random spear move. Oh my God, that actually worked. Okay. No, nope, dodge that. Into the three. There we go. And he actually died to the move, and I got my 308 heal. Let's go, man. That match was pretty long, so yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Honestly, not going to lie, quite surprised by Midas. I did think it was going to be good just from using it a crap ton in PvE, since like I said, I did spend hours just using it to farm the twin soul boss. And I can say it is actually really good in terms of PvE, if anybody cares about that. But in terms of PvP, it's not that bad. I definitely wouldn't put it higher than like literally any of the other full brings. However, what I would say is if you know you are into pvp and you don't have any essence to re-roll and you have midas don't count yourself out it's pretty good the one does a crap ton of damage and pretty much sets you up perfectly into any move that has like a lot of startup so for me i would use the one and then just time it with exploitation and then they would lose like 900 hp the two is literally just a free combo extender that gives you a free uppercut so i mean you can't really hate on it and it's got a crap ton of range and the three not gonna lie i'm a bit disappointed in i did think it was gonna be better however the blind range is honestly quite small but the other passive effect where you just reduce your cooldowns for landing m1s i think is really good and honestly if you really wanted to you could probably just run like a hybrid build and what i mean by that is just do all strength and just have the midas full bring because i think it could actually work really well with a strength build in terms of the twin soul i think everything is actually really good the passives i like how they all just work well with each other and make sense the only issue i found is stacking gold is actually a lot harder than i thought it'd be because the gold disappears based off of how much damage you take if people are doing like gnarly combos on you when you don't have your evasive or if you just get hit by a giant sero you're basically gonna lose all the gold you have besides that though i think it is pretty good i do wish the stun range on the alt was a bit longer though because not gonna lie that is something that also disappointed me i only ended up landing like one stun in the whole video and i'd honestly say that is the most important part of the ultimate because in terms of the rain like you could literally just evasive it or just q dash out of there the only way it really helps you is if you can combo somebody while they're in the rain and that doesn't really happen that much besides that though yeah i think it's actually pretty good for a common but yeah that's gonna be the end of the video if you guys enjoyed then please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe since it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it in terms of my next peroxide videos i'm either gonna be taking a break for a bit or working on soul reapers since there still are quite a few soul reaper abilities i haven't done and so yeah what i do you guys will you know obviously know depending on what i upload next but yeah just want to let you guys know that lastly just want to say happy new years again hope you guys had a great year and on this year just have an even better one and hopefully y'all that have been here for a minute continue to just stick with me throughout another year really do appreciate y'all really do love y'all and yeah just wanted to say that yeah with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see y'all in the next one peace